Early theaters were built for the architecture and the beauty and to just transform people to another place. They had this few minutes in the dark in this beautiful cathedral. Today, it's just like advertising, plastic seats, and crap. If you're gonna put a theater, and never mind five theaters, in a town of 300 people, then you're gonna have to make it so people talk about it. You know, five theaters attached to a guy's house in the middle of nowhere. You sort of wonder, what is this place? Who would build something this stupid? When we came, we thought it would be probably something with like a bed sheet on the wall in his garage. When I go to the movies, I wanna to go to something that I'm gonna like come out and feel, wow. <laughs> you guys like popcorn, don't you? <laughs> it cost me $75 a week to feed the bear. If you don't give him food, he's in here flipping garbage bells. I started building the theater in 75, and we actually got it open in 79, and it was just a single screen. In 86, I decided, well, if we're going to sit around for one little theater, we'll add another one. The last couple of weeks, it's been maybe two or three people in a theater, you know. Because starting next week, it's one show, period. That's it. Our audience has declined over the years, and I realize that the way things are changing, there will come a day when the movies won't be practical. Time is an interesting thing. Can you travel in it? Probably be fun to go to the future and see how this all turns out. Okay. It's very strange. It's, yeah, it's a strange thing. What the future holds for that place, I, I don't know. First opening out. Show must go on. Well,